I gathered a handful of rocks. There's a couple of quartz in here and some granity stuff and some less hard stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and knock a flake off of whatever it'll give here and see if it's sharp enough to do some cutting with. Got to have something for a bit of a hammer stone. Uh, that might be a little small. This might do the job. Oh, how am I going to bop this here? I think I'm just going to set it on my knee pad. some glass in front of my naked eyes there. I wonder. Ah, that's the sound I wanted to hear. Now, let's see if we can show you what I got there. Here's a few flakes that I was able to knock off a piece of quartz. And I think they're much sharper, much thinner. This one is exceptionally thin and I, uh, I know it, that's, that's able to cut flesh. Not mine. And then a larger piece that I was able to fracture off that I thought maybe had some possibilities for uh, what's on the end here. I'm not very good at holding this stuff in front of the camera. Uh, what's on the end here is uh, pretty thin. There. And it's like I can get two or three fingers and a thumb around it, so that would be of some help as well. So, you know, there's things that are out there that you can make that'll give you a bit of a mechanical advantage in uh, primitive tool making.